see too many videos on the internet about putting the spiral locks in on a piston. So I'm going to do a video myself. And maybe this will help a few people out there kind of show you what's going on. Um, what you got to do is you want to get uh, you want to get your piston in the right orientation to sit right in the block. Then you want to make sure you got your ring in the, or your rod in the right orientation, which you know your large side facing the journal, you know outside of the journal, small sides together in the middle. And then you want to take a little bit of oil. What I like to do anyway. A lot of people will actually do this dry, but uh, I'm not a big fan of doing it dry. I just like all my stuff to work really good, you know. So I make sure it's good lubed up there. And then I take some inside the rod, make sure there's some on there. Set that back where we want it. Then we're gonna take the pin. We're going to kind of put a little bit of oil on that jobby, or she's going to slide in good. All right, I've already got one of the spiral locks installed on this side, just so I don't have to fight the one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wrist pin, hold my rod down here just like this. These are free floating, so they go right in. There's no press fit. There's no beating with a hammer and a socket, none of that, you know. Right, once you get that in there, you want to take something and just kind of put it down to keep it from scratching anything. And then this is the actual spiral lock. You're going to want to try to get... you want to try to get the edge of it. That one's bent. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to get one that's a little bit fresher kind of spring it out a little bit give it a good tug don't break it or bend it but you want to get one side where it's kind of separated and then on the inside groove on the wrist pin you want to try to get that down inside and you get that one corner into the groove and right, once you do that then you're going to take a flat tip screwdriver and just kind of work its way into the hole by pushing it down. It might be kind of hard to get started and get it in the right spot to go, so just be patient with it. You don't want to bend it. If you do, it uh, it'll pretty much be trash. So just kind of work on it gentle, and eventually, once you get it started enough, it will go. See there? I usually try to work right here in this little corner of the piston so that I could get the screwdriver on the outside of it and use the top, the second ring of the spiral to pry it in. Once it pops in right there, you're just gonna take the screwdriver and just kind of work it around. Just kind of push it around. And it may get a little hairy in a spot or two. Just remember, don't force it. Work it till it goes and it should pop right in place. And then that's, your spiral lock is in, it's locked, it ain't going anywhere. And then that would be your assembly, just like that. So, just a little, you know, catch on that for, didn't really see much on the internet about it, and if you don't have the tool, this is about the only way you're gonna do it. So, just wanna put that out there for you.